Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is Clovis from Fritz and Maker YouTube channel. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you about today uh, is this little beast in here. This little uh, board with a lot of components on it. It is actually uh, something I've wanted and I've uh, worked on for a long... Uh, I mean, worked on the concept and the design for a long time, which is in a data logger, an Arduino-based data logger. Why uh, should I or why would I make a data logger if like it's as, as simple as gathering data and saving it to whatever the internet, a cloud service or an SD card, why would I make sort of a product for that? The reason why I would make a product for that is because it's self-contained. In this case it, it uses a, a SD card, a micro SD card to store data. It has uh, sort of industrial grade connectors. It has uh, a, a button to, to turn like the recording on and off and, and that kind of stuff. So it's a, a self-contained product. So this data logger is based on the Arduino Micro, which is this little blue board in here. It has USB built in. The, the USB to serial converter is under this board. This is the reason you, you cannot see it, but you can see the USB connector. Uh, it, it is based on the 80 mega uh, microchip 80 mega 328p, which is the same chip as the Arduino Uno. Uh, so it has the same capabilities of the Arduino Uno, just in a smaller form factor, right? Uh, this data logger um, gathers data from four um, analog channels, which is a one, a two, a three, and a four from the Arduino uh, Micro. Uh, in one digital channel, which is this like this brown uh, wire in here, which is a uh, which is pin three from from Arduino Micro, which is a um, interrupt input, which means that with this little data logger, I can I can set for example when I see a signal uh, on pin three, it starts recording all other channels and or it stops recording or it takes some action, so it's. It's a data logger, but it's fully programmable because I'm, I'm using like I, I can trigger uh, recordings or I, I can trigger functions through a, a interrupt input of Arduino. Uh, you guys can see here four diodes. Uh, they are anti-parallel with each one of the analog inputs. So if, if I if I uh, enter, for example, minus five volts, or if I invert the polarity of, uh, polarity of the voltage those diodes are going to prote uh, protect the chip. Uh, so this, this data logger also features one button. As I said, this button is also fully programmable. It is connected to pin 2 of the Arduino uh, Micro. I'm using it to start recordings. So I, I power the, the system on. I wait a little bit generally uh, or you know, I, I wait for, for something to happen or if, if I want, if I don't want, I, I just press it, it's going to start recording uh, all four analog inputs and the digital input as well. I have two LEDs in here, two LEDs. Uh, the, the green LED uh, I'm using to say, okay, there, there is an SD card in here because if there isn't S, an SD card, there's, there's no reason to start recording because I'm, I'm going to be recording where if I don't have an SD card. So uh, the, the green LED turns on when there is an SD card in here. Uh, in the red LED, I'm, I'm using to, to indicate that I'm recording. So after I'm, I've pressed this button, the, um, the red LED is going to blink every time I'm, I make a reading and, and save it to the SD card. Uh, as you can see, there, there's, no, there's no secret in here. This is a, a green prototype board. Uh, I've soldered all the components in here, so no secret in here. Uh, very simple, very compact, like it, it fits in the palm of my hand, as you can see. Uh, it's supplied with uh, 5 volts. It can, it can be supplied through this uh, USB port in here or through this connector in here, uh, plus 5 volts and GND. Uh, it's going to be working, it's going to be recording for as long as I uh, like the SD card uh, supports it or I, I can even program it to let's say uh, let, let me record for one day and then the next day I'm going to uh, uh, wipe out, I'm going to erase all the data from the SD card and start recording over and over. So it features an Arduino Micro and it's fully programmable uh, in 
it comes, uh, it meets my needs. So because I like to, I always like to to mess around with solar panels, with current measurement, with uh, the power network, the, the power like 110, 220 volts measurement. So I can I can log and I can I can record data from all my experiments, uh, including experiments uh, for this channel. Um, you, you guys are gonna find all files, in, including like schematics and code and, and every kind of stuff, uh, for this little data logger uh, on my blog in the description below. Uh, it is actually hosted on, on my GitHub, so I'm in the in the in the text of the blog. You, you're gonna see a link for the GitHub, so you guys can download, you guys can can clone, you guys can do whatever you want with the repository. It's free, it's open. You guys can do whatever you want with that. I hope you like it, guys. Um, I hope you like my data logger. If you do like it, please uh, like this. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be very happy with that, I, and I can continue bring uh, high quality content for you. For you. So, guys, see you later. I hope you like this video. Bye bye.